Today, let's write a program to generate Fibonacci series using JavaScript. Save the file with .html extension if you are writing JavaScript inside HTML document. Start writing the usual HTML syntax. By definition, the first two Fibonacci numbers are 0 and 1 and each subsequent number is the sum of the previous two. That's how Fibonacci series is usually defined. Don't get confused. We shall show how exactly Fibonacci series is generated. We will use JavaScript to show that. Start writing the scriptlet tags script type. You should mention what type of script it is. Text slash JavaScript and its closing tag is slash script. In between these tags we must write valid JavaScript coding. And it's a good practice to start it with comments because some old browsers do not support JavaScript and they start they start displaying whatever you write inside this that is JavaScript code which that browser doesn't understand. If you put these comments the browser will just ignore it and it will not display anything which is fine instead of displaying some weird characters there. So in JavaScript variables are declared using keyword var. var v1, var v2, var v3 are three variables prompt is a window where which which prompts the user to enter something maybe a string a number etc we then store it inside another variable called num this zero is the initial value that is set before the user can input input anything. If you leave it blank, nothing will be displayed. That's it. Document.write is the output statement in JavaScript. Now we will display the value of variable 1 and variable 2. So remember by definition in Fibonacci series 0 and 1 are the initial values. plus is concatenation symbol we will concatenate it with br tag which is line break in html when it output this br tag it will just be converted into a line break by java by html browser now this is a loop where fibonacci series is actually generated. We will start with 3 because variable 1 and variable 2 have already been printed out there. So we will start from 3 third number and we will continue printing it until the limit which user had given and we have stored it in num variable. I++ is increment operator. Now put the value of variable 2 inside variable 1 and value of variable 3 into variable 2 but notice that variable 3 has no value. So first we need to assign some value to variable 3. So we shall assign variable 1 plus variable 2 to variable 3 and print out the value of variable 3 that is document dot write var 3 
and concatenate with it with a nice br tag for line break so this is it the program to generate Fibonacci series up to a limit that the user enters 0 is the initial value we shall we print out the initial two values 0 and 1 manually and then start the loop with from third number that is the next sequence in the Fibonacci series and continue up to the limit that the user enters which is stored in num later we transfer swap the values of var2 and var1 and assign var3 a value of var1 plus var2 that is value of previous two digits and then print it out to the browser that's it it's as simple as that now open it in your browser so this is the initial value 0 that we gave here enter a limit maybe 10 okay let's count it first 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 oh there is a mistake in the looping I think let's open the source code okay it's less than or equal to num save the file refresh again let me give 10 again 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay how it works first two digits are 0 and 1 now add 1 1 plus 0 is 1 now 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus previous number is 5 5 plus its previous number is 8 8 plus its previous number is 13 13 plus its previous number is 21 21 plus its previous number is 32 let's test it with smaller number 5 1 2 3 4 5 okay 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus its previous number is 2, 2 plus its previous number is 3. So it's pretty much works for any valid number that your browser memory can handle. This is for 25. 